I'm underrated. They been sleeping for so long, but it's about time I don't ring me alone. I'm underrated. Yeah, I'm coming for the throne. Ain't no stopping me when I'm off in my zone. Duh. I'm underrated. So we back, man. You rock with the big homie, Boyd and Prophet. My brother, JP, the golden child. You listening to the Lyrical Spiritual Show. Sponsored by Most Serious Entertainment. Live on blessedbeats.com, man. Dig this. That was underrated. Uh, the title cut from the homie pun from the EP that's available right now at your favorite digital retailer called Underrated. Man, if you're listening, let us know. You follow us on IG at Spiritual Lyrics, man. You got something to say? We live on Facebook right now. Post a comment. Shout out to everybody who tuned in live. Shout out to McKinfo Lisa. I see you, TJ Mason. What's cracking, man? I see you, DJ DMD, Triple OG. Appreciate you tuning in. Shout out to David G, Jay, and everybody else who's rocking with us. And all y'all who listening on base, on, on blessedbeats.com. Appreciate you, man. We just studied Genesis chapter 40, man, verses 6 through 8. Talked about getting that work in, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so I hope y'all take heed to that. I know I will and I did. I got the homie putting in here standing right next to me, man. And uh, oh. glad to have you in the building. Y'all dig this, man. Dude, the rapper, producer, entrepreneur. Been in this game for about over a decade. Been in here for a minute, man. Them drop releases like Champion and Bananas, which is which is killing that pimp. Uh, had thousands on top of thousands of downloads. Then he dropped the indie album called Back to the Basics. Okay. That actually charted on iTunes, was an Amazon bestseller. You know what I'm saying? Then he dropped a few more, including No Fear. We got a couple from that in the mix already. And then he dropped this EP this year called Underrated. And so underrated, man, it starts off with a song called No Average Joke, right? And it's like the intro. It's basically, man, some hard bars over a really hard track. Just that, you know, that, that pun, not your average artist. He's not following any trends, but instead he's he doing his own thing. Then y'all just heard underrated. That was a title cut. And that was really just letting everybody know that, man, it's time to stop sleeping. It's time to wake up. You know what I'm saying? He underrated, and it's time to show y'all. Matter of fact, he asked us the question while I was playing it. Don't y'all feel underrated? Man, you know what I'm saying? So everybody yeah. feel underrated? Like, yeah, we do. You know what I'm saying? He got another one on there called I Got a Problem, one of my favorites, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is a song really just for those who grind and hustle. It's about staying focused, it's about sticking to the grind until you accomplish your goals. The last one on there is called I Made It Work. And it's really just a, a personal testimony of how you can make it through the struggle. You know right. what I'm saying? Using what God gave you, playing the hand you was dealt, make it work. Come you on, know what I'm saying? Don't give up, make it work with whatever you got. Don't give up, stay original. And so it's a short project. It's only EP. It's five quick tracks, but it's a good listen. I call it vibe music. You got one more on there called Clock Chaser. And that one is really for these boys out here who, who kind of just sounded like everybody else Ooh. and riding all of the waves and not really being Surf original. Boy. Man, surf boy, he surf say, surf boy. boy, he call that clout chasing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's saying that, boy, if you sell your soul for fame, you a clout chaser. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. If you follow everybody else's way instead of creating your own, yeah. you're a cloud chaser. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, matter of fact, speaking of cloud chaser, dig these bars. All right, Pooh, don't, don't, don't get me on this one. I, I'm usually pretty good at this stuff. <laughs> he said, he say, I got the flavor, I got the juice. Why they feel me like I'm a masseuse? I ain't like these other rappers. I'm the same in the booth. I ain't got to show up front and just so people think I'm cool. I hold my own weight. I don't need a big crew. Uh, now I'm really from the hood, not just pumping for the likes. Uh, yeah, this flow is kind of nice, but he ain't really about that life. Uh -huh. I've been grinding independent on the move without a deal. I just left another country so you know that it's real. <laughs> See, I was in the kitchen at the age of 18, whipping beats like coke, and I ain't talking about things. Uh -oh. I just left kind of cold, yeah, the talk is still cheap. And I ain't worried about a party because I got ends to meet. <laughs> I gotta make ends meet. I know I messed it up, bro. Something like that. Yeah, you did. You did the same. I gotta make ends meet. Hey, so that's 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 we put, man. Nothing. Yeah. At the end of the day, man. At the end of the day, man, it's called underrated. The EP is jam, bro. It's like it's riding music. It ain't no skipping. You put it in, you get to play. You catch the vibe, man. Feel the positivity in the whole project. The lyrics is tight. Yeah, the beats uh -huh. jamming, and, and you did it all. All the production, all the writing, everything, right? Yeah, yeah. So talk to me about No Average Joke for me. No you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like what kind of led to the inspiration of, of just doing that? I'm just doing it. Man, I've been doing that from on my previous ones, man. It's kind of like a kind of like a go and go okay. thing now. It's like I, I come in hard with a hard intro, <laughs> give them a nice beat, and just try to just give it a give, just Go give in. It. Yeah. Just go in. Yeah. And that's me and T was talking about that the other day about how these days you can put out an album and you don't you don't have to stick to the script right. you ain't got to say you know what 316s or eight nah. you can go and just do 30 bars straight 
Yeah. And call that track one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's so unorthodox now. So it's like, I just give it to him. So do you find yourself uh, chicken or the egg come first, like the beat or the rap? With, with you dual person, me, you write and, and make beats usually. I do the, uh, sometimes, uh, like, I like to, I like to write like when I'm on a plane or I'm somewhere, somewhere different that I'm okay. not other than the norm, you know what I mean? So if I'm out of, out of state or out of the country or something, that's, that's best for me. That's for right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And uh, as far as the beats, I mean, just when I'm in the vibe, in the vibe. In the vibe. So, uh, but as far as the writing process, like, like I say, if I'm, I usually do use a beat. I, I gotta feel the beat first, and then I go. But a lot of times, like I say, when I'm somewhere else and I feel the ride, right, I just write. Got this version. Yeah. Got this version. Then you'll then you'll correct the beat. Then around. I correct the beat around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the beat. That's what I did for every show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So where you find that kind of inspiration? Because I know I write, right? I'm gonna make sure you get some of my music in the mix so you can hear that. But like, like I know when I write, it'd be similar situations. Uh-huh. It'll be. At a restaurant, and then bars just start coming to my head. Right, right, and right. then you know, I'll put my phone out, and my wife would be like, "What you doing?" Let's go. Hold on, get this out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but then my brother here on the other hand, he don't write. Right, right. He don't write. He just, he just, he write it mentally. Yeah. And yeah, then he'd yeah. be like, "All right, he record," and then yeah. he spit it. I've always, I've always liked it, man. Like, yeah. always okay, so I was gonna ask: Are you like penmanship, like literally typing it up or writing pen and pad, or are you mental with it? Nah, I, I pin the pad. Pin the pad. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm more phone. I did the for like a, a couple of months before, but I was like, you know what, let me stick with my yeah. pen. Yeah. <laughs> but some people do it. Yeah. I'm always in the studio. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. 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 always there. So yeah. Like, so you're used to it now. Yeah. 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 I used to get his mental with it. You know what's up, man? Yeah, like the boy Urgency, we had him in the mix earlier. Uh-huh. Urgency, another one who all mental. All mental. But like, well, JT will give you, you know, four or five bars at a time, make a little punch in, figure yeah. it out. Urgency going to give you 16, 18, yeah. dirt, however long it is, and it's not freestyle. Right. These are songs he's written. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, just yeah, yeah. Out. Bro, that's that's cold. Yeah, that's, like that. that's cold. Man. That's what works so well on, in reference to, to the whole production time, right? Man. Like I'm running the label, so between choosing beats and recording, then mixing and releasing and all of that. Right. Would you handle most of that? Right. right. <laughs> What's your average turnaround time for a project? Oh, man. you know, average time. This is an EP, so this is definitely shorter than you know That's a great question. Yeah. 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 But no, you know, usually uh, it takes it takes a month sometimes, you know, because you definitely want to get it right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, here recently, the last year, the last year, I would say, man, it's been kind of coming at me. It's been yeah, coming to me. Yeah, easy. Yeah. So, uh, man, I, if I tell you how quick I, I think <laughs> it's underrated, it's crazy, man. And I believe underrated is like one of my most solid projects. To okay. Be okay. I mean, just personally. Um, but what I was gonna say is uh, when I, uh, when I, I was, I've been in Houston about four, four years, four okay. five years, and uh, when I was in College Station, I had my own studio. I recorded a lot of guys. So. I used to record myself so I could do when I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. So when I was in Houston, yeah, I say, yeah. like, you know, you know, me and my family got the crib and everything. We say, I said, no, I don't have people in that house. Right, right. So, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just you. So yeah, so I got here and I went to a lot of different studios, man. Shout out to my boy Supreme. Oh, shout out to Supreme. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Supreme got it on lock. Come yeah. on, get that work. Yeah. Come yeah. on, get that work. Supreme, get that work. Yeah. yeah. A few different guys, really, man. And, you know, recorded a lot and they had some good sound. Like he recorded, uh, no fear. No fear. Okay. Yeah, and uh, but man, I just wanted to get back to that. that the element. Yeah, I wanted to get you back to my element. Your career. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Uh, well, the, the control. Doing, it's really a control thing. Yeah, it's a control yeah, thing. Just, just get there and, <laughs> and go. So, man, now, to be honest, now I recorded no fear. Like I wrote some of it in uh, New Zealand. Wrote a little bit more just to finish it off. Mm-hmm. And I'm back. And uh, man, I recorded no fear in a, in a week. Wow, that was and drive to the next week. So Wow. Get it in. Yeah. Talk about getting that work. <laughs> getting that work. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's it, it's one of those things that we're just like when something comes to you, you gotta get it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was just like you was in New Zealand working? You yeah, like, like, going on tour. tour. Okay. okay, Boston man, shout out to Boston man. And uh man, me and him we were on the six six war two. You know, yeah, I know. So I mentioned it earlier, dude. Wow. That was recent. I yeah, think it was, was like recent. that. Then you was uh, um, I saw the London in the bio. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, how how did the international Putin 
come about. You know what I'm saying? That man, blood just, we really, man, God, man, God, <laughs> on the cook, God, right. making them docs, to be honest. Already yeah. talking. It just, man, I said, if you know, knowing a certain person here, and they brought us up, and then uh, after uh, they brought us up, uh, some other guys got connected with some other guys, and then they brought us up again. Mm, and is. one of the guys that was up there that brought us, he moved to New Zealand and got had his stuff going up. Oh, that's so what he was like, yeah, yeah, so I got people going out here. Okay, yeah, okay. And, uh, okay. Can you be to New Zealand? And you know what I mean? They so, don't so, yeah, but that's because you're getting at work, just not to, to sprinkle in our Bible study. Real talk. He can remember you because every time you showed up, it worked. You were ready. It worked. You got to stay ready, man. I love that. That's and it's a lot of people, you know, a lot of people who got the work, but they're not. They're, they're not. Uh, it's called application. They got network. Career. They're applying. Well, they're not applying. It. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, like you said too. Uh, well, a lot of times it's because they're. Um, they're afraid of what someone else is going to say. Yeah, like, man, you'll be surprised with how many people have so much talent, but they just afraid yeah. to put it out there because it's like, oh, he might not think I'm jamming. They yeah, might not like this. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you know what I'm saying? I feel and fear. That's bro. fear. Fear, bro. That's fear. Which was that called? No fear, no right? Fear. Yeah, yeah, fear. Me, I ain't jamming, man. I'm some false expectations right? appearing yeah. real. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I saw somebody. Somebody else told me, or uh, uh, what they said, uh, fear everything in the room, man. Or, or, for, or for believers, be this one. Uh, face everything and rise. Wow. That's real. You had that one. You say like that, you had that one. Put it in the hook, and me and TZ got to go. Yeah, you messed it. Just like that. Yeah, that's real. Face that's everything real. and rise. No fear. Man, we y'all listen to the Lyrical Spiritual Show, man. We on Bliss Beats. Chopping it up with the homie Poon. Just dropped the uh, underrated EP. Yeah. It's available now. All your favorite yeah, yeah. digital retailers. Go get that. Go stream it. You know what? I ain't even going to say stream it. Stream it if you got to. I stream I use Spotify, but as an artist, I'm going to tell you not. That little point oh one cent that Spotify gonna pay for the yeah. screen ain't worth it. Do your boy a favor because you're really gonna want to listen to it again. Go on oh, to Google Play, yeah. go on to iTunes, or if you like me, your Amazon Prime member, go to Amazon, get it for 79 cents yeah. instead of 99 cents, but download the thing. Yeah, <laughs> That's you know, know, man. We really appreciate it. That's and like I said, it. if you got the streaming, if you just got the streaming, then here's what you do go to Spotify, search putting P U N T I N underrated. And when you click the playlist, just turn your phone mute and go to sleep and just let that boy spin yeah. run up overnight. <laughs> <laughs> just let the spins run up overnight. Wake up in the morning and then turn it on and jam it. <laughs> and then just bless that boy about a thousand yeah, streams. Stop. If you don't want to download the album, yeah. we so sure appreciate it. Hey, but dig this though. Back back to these questions. So so you said you moved to the H about four years ago? I did. From 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 College yeah, Station. Brian, College Station. So you went to school out there, Texas That's where I'm from. So what made you come to the H other than just a bigger city? Man, you know, I, I was always back and forth here, you know, and uh, it was time. You know, okay. God says, you know, different territory, so, you know, you have to be obedient. And if you're not obedient, then you're just going to be in the same Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So uh, my, my run there was, was done. It was done. It was done. So uh, he had me go somewhere else, man. And, uh, Whatever he has me go next, I'm going to I ain't ready, but you got to stay ready. <laughs> well, yeah. honest, let, me, let me encourage someone, man. It was the first time we were uh, sent, we were uh, called to be going to, to London. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and my guy Boston had a conversation because they called them like, hey, y'all got to do this, do this, do this. We want y'all, y'all got to do this, do this. Never, we didn't have a passport. Yeah. Never been overseas. Right. Never heard about no London, UK or whatever. So first thing was fear. Yeah. So it was like, I didn't, it was crazy because you know, I don't know how some people might look at it. They might look at it like, man, we gone. But, all I think was like, man, I ain't oh. ever been overseas. Yeah. I don't know how it is. Nobody over there. Right? Oh, like, what? I, I even Googled, like, what's the rate? What's the religion over there? Yeah, you what know, they, they, I want to go get out the plane and get persecuted. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that's what that was in my mind. But, and, and then we was like, man, we, I was trying to come up, we was trying to come up with stuff why we shouldn't do it. We were like, man, you know, passport, that man, man, so we called it. So, man, as I got the phone, Boston. And God just hit me. He said, Oh, okay, so you, you over here screaming about send me out of go. And you are and <laughs> there I'm trying to send you. And you, and you, you don't want to go. You don't want to go. I ain't got you. You feel like I got you. And I'm sending you, I got you. As like, oh, you. soon as that happened, I come up with boss and I say, Hey bro, go tomorrow, go something, we pass over, we gone. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're gone, man. And we ain't never look back. Ain't it's crazy. Been. That's how you gotta do it. Yeah, so man, I want to encourage you guys, man. Let fear go. Let fear go. Man, I heard that from home himself. Let 
fear go. Yeah. And dig this, if you hold it on the fear, right? If you hold it on the fear, then your hands ain't in position to receive it. I guess that. You know what I'm saying? Because you hold it on to fear. And that's just fear. You can be holding on to problems, fear, trials, it's whatever it is. Yeah. You gotta learn to let go. It's Information. Yes, no information, no elevation. Right, right, right. right, right, right. It's just, it's just it's it's literally killing you. Yeah, it was constant, constant. So I said, you know what, let me switch up. And right now, definitely uh, have some business things okay, going on. Okay, you know I mean? okay. So I was like, man, this ain't it. So I, I, I turned on to found some business uh, talk show. So last few days, man, that's what's on. That's, that's what's up. up. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I, I, I listen to that TED Talks, man. So yeah. my day job is in the internet marketing. Yeah, so I'll be in front of the computer researching, doing all of that every day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad to hear it, bro. That's I'm really real. And that's why I, 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 that's I teach a real. class. I teach a Sunday school class, right? Oh. They, they all boys, ages 13 to 18. I was telling them dudes the other day, like, if you're not going to read a book, right. Listen, listen to it, bro. Yeah. Like listen yeah. to it. You you can, you ain't got to just yeah. listen to the radio or listen no, to that trash, bro. Player, man. man, go download your audio book. Go get Audible. They got yeah. a free trial. They got all these things. You can you can listen to Fact, Genesis. Fact. Fact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can listen to to commentary that help your life and not just not just the trash that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Man, you got some shout outs on Facebook, playing the media young. She said, What's up, Clinton? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? TJ Mason, he said, Man, stay grinding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, DJ DMD, he said, Man, I see you, man. Kingdom Connection. I appreciate y'all tuning in. You know what I'm saying? So, what led you to kind of speak spit positive, right? Obviously, you could have went down a different lane. Right. Uh, I mentioned ESG earlier. You could have been making tracks of that boy and right. and as you see, right? Right, right? You know what I'm saying? Or you could have chose to go this route. Yeah, yeah. Why was that? Man, uh, let me try to make, make a shout. <laughs> because, you know, I did have a group back in the day, you know, we were players by choice. Okay. I mean, we yeah, always got a pass. Yeah, we got a pass. Yeah, man. It, it, it wasn't like I quit and I came over here because I really didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. We were actually on the of doing some right, great, right, great right. things, man. We kept, flew out to New York a couple times, man. It was talking to some big, big people. Mm -hmm. we actually talking to a distribution company down here. It was pretty big at the time. Me in there and it was on it. Okay, oh, probably you saw what's wholesale or what's it, the next, vaccine or next, uh, oh, they 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 uh, pay pool. No, not pay pool. Uh, I know what you're talking you about. Know what I'm talking yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it, was, it was a few people down here with something like Koch. Uh, uh -huh. it was Koch came out anyway. Go ahead. Okay, my boy still asked me after I left, uh, 
they actually still signed with the guy. So they did it. Okay. They didn't. They didn't be promoted. Okay. 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 Stuff on the show. The usual. You know what I'm saying? So, so something happened. It wasn't done right. So thank God. You know. See, that's how it work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. Now nah, uh, some things happened in my life, and God kind of showed me who's real. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> he'll do that. Man. Know, to make a long story short, just crossroad. And, I, and I, instead of just ignoring that crossroad, I say, you know what, man? Let me do something different. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, God, but man, real. Said it. <laughs> you real, man. Yeah, I'm gonna step out here. Step water, out man. <laughs> and I stepped out in the water and it was so crazy at the time, but nobody else I was hanging around with in the water. Oh no. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like <laughs> they probably gonna be like, man, what, is, what are you doing? doing? What is you doing? I was doing cloud chasing out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, but I just don't I don't know what it was, man. I guess this they called on God had my life, man. Yeah. I, just, I just did it, bro. I don't know. That's the that's the that's the that's the power of obedience. Man, bro. And there's so bro. much power in obedience. And just you know what, God, I know it's you saying it, even yeah. though I don't know why I have identified as you. And so I'm just gonna move yeah. forward. I got one question. When yeah. you did like the switch, did, uh-huh. the, did the attack did, mm. did the attack get heavier? Did the attack get from heavier? the enemy? You know what I'm saying? Like like did it did it get harder when you made the switch? I, 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 no, I think that for me, the hard part was the switch. No, oh, just, okay. just literally okay. committing. Okay. Literally committing okay. what I was in. We were on the brink of actually signing. Okay. You know yeah. nice. So that, yeah, it was. That's, okay. I mean, talking about they were in our little room. They came out wow. with, with the contracts. You know what I'm saying? Wow. God be my witness. If one of my boys loud on here, they came mm-hmm. out with I called, went back to the bedroom and called my mom. You know what I mean? Because I had got, I had came to God. Like two weeks before they came. Oh, mm. you know, still, 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 that second week I slipped. I know what I'm still, 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 Went back to the back room when they came in, like, yeah, we'll, we'll call my mom. I said, Mom, man, the company, yeah, they, they saying they got the, they got the paper, they got the you know, contracts. When I'm born to Porsche, he signed his paper, and, you know. She's like, she's like, what, you with the group for six years? I'm like, yeah. She's like, what? The minute you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, it's the time. Oh, God, you can come and go. Mm-hmm. Man, she's like, the minute you, you know what I'm saying? The minute you, boy, that's bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, we've been grinding for six years, and then we finally, as soon as I, you know, come with God, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, hey, you know what, man? That's right. crazy. You saw so right. That's crazy. And I went back in there. You know, don't now. Thank God say, for mamas, though. Now I'm going to tell you, though. Thank God for mamas, bro. Yeah, thank God for mamas. And, you know, thank God for the prayers. But yeah. you know what I'm saying, man? Now that it came to my mind now about the hard part. Yeah. Okay. That was hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what. It has been hard realizing that choice and, and and trying to understand okay did i make the right decision because you know okay. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way up transparent with it. as you walk in this life you understand like sometimes when you come in it you're so serious and you're so yeah so motivated yeah, so i'm so ready so you're ready on fire you're ready 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 you're you have to grow. Yep. you have to grow. you know what I'm saying? you might feel like you know everything. You, I'm a three to five Christian. Yeah, you might yeah. feel it, but then you still gotta take that walk. You have to take that walk and yeah. you grow. And then some things you like, some things you might not like that you see. You Real might time. realize, mm-hmm. understand that That's crazy. Hey, we have to be more, how do you want? More loving. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We shouldn't bang, we shouldn't point, we should love. You know what I'm saying? How they gonna yeah. feel? Actually, you, you can still start out moving like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more than just accepting them, I gotta start trying to move That's like crazy. Crazy. Yeah, like, right. start walking like, start talking like, start emulating. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. realize it ain't the building, it's us. Yeah. So, so, I ain't the only Hold on, repeat that. I'm going to realize it ain't the building, it's us. It's us. So, and don't uh, listen. <laughs> Come yeah. on, go ahead. That's, yeah. just, that was a, that was the extremely important line yes. right there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people get caught up on the building. We, we the only church some people would ever see, man. I'm, a lot Ooh. of people are not going to walk in that church. Real talk. But yeah, yeah. man. Um, Oh, I'm saying earlier, that's why we do the Bible study the way we do it. That's why we do the show the way we do it. It's because yeah. we the only church some people be getting sometimes. Yeah, my real. mom used to always try to give me Christian rap CDs when I was in with my clique. Every time I go over there, man, I would chunk on my 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 uh 
truck and they would never see the light of day. Yeah, was saying, well, I suppose exactly. get his truck. <laughs> Trust me, I, he was the only gospel rapper I knew. Wow, <laughs> man. Wow, man. You know yeah, what that saying? could have been for a minute. Yeah, yeah, that was real. But that was, I guess that wasn't the way. You know, it's certain ways, man. It's just, man. But you, this is what y'all doing. Well, man. that story is my whole story because I had Sony Urban on the table. I'm mm-hmm. like, man, it's going to go down. Yeah. I, I told him I had my, my manager was a gospel artist. Man, I'm talking about the check exploding, starts fading away. I'm like, yeah, we gonna meet. Like, bro, I'm like, Chuck, I need to meet me over here. I'm all the, the way. Like, okay, let's go. I got paperwork. We gonna do this. Wow. They was like, oh, they made it away. He's a gospel artist. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, I'm like, man, where y'all going? Yeah. And so I'm like, you know what? I knew this wasn't for me. Cause in that app, that probably the album that they heard, I was trying to throw my guard in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had him featured on the bus. I was trying to sing, get my guard on. Yeah. I like, man, he ain't fully committed, but I ain't fully committed. I'm just <laughs> rallying the fence. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. I'm, I'm helping him with the show. I'm doing this. I'm the helping the little hype man. And I was like, Chuck, I'm through. I, want, I, I can't do this no more. I don't want to rap like that no more because I ain't blessing. It is, yeah. And I know God messing with me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go with you, Chuck. Let's go, man. I'm ready to sign. Mm. So I'm like, all right. Rap this time for a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to make sure you all yeah, the way right. I had that with hype man for about a year. A year? Yeah. Now, mind you, when I was on the other, he Pushing my shows, I'm doing shows everywhere. I'm like, man, how you gonna send me on the bitch now? Like, I ain't got the flow. Yeah. But it's like, your, your mind ain't right. Your life ain't like, yeah, right. Yeah, come yeah. see these shows. You're gonna sit in church. You're gonna come watch me rock this show. Make sure you got the hook right. And, and it's like, the, but I grew up. I'm like, oh, man. You, you gotta walk it like you talking. Yeah, because after like, we get off the stage, now it's time to build yeah, yeah, like, And they get you. And I understood. And if you yeah. ain't mentally ready for that, then. When she came to say, man, pray for me because my mom on crack. And, yeah, like, and my old, baby hungry. And I was sitting, hey, Chuck, hand it out. Man, I could just rap right now. I, <laughs> you know what that. I, I need that. I needed somebody who was going to pray. Yeah. You know? yeah. It was more ministry focus. It was like, man, I just want to rap, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got these bars. You explain everything. But I understood, like, also, oh, that's what it, his transition from song to song was, I'm going to hit you with some word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, and I start understanding more. But the attack came, like, you out there clout chasing, trying to be a Christian rapper because yeah. you ain't pop like talking about yeah. it. Like, bro, y'all don't understand what? But I understood the process of growing, though. Like, he was saying, you had to grow. And I was like, oh, how long is it going to be? You know yeah. what I mean? I'm ready. But I, every time I would ask, he will show me this why You still right there. Mm-hmm. You still right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and it, it took me a minute to help answer questions correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, to so help, help try to minister some so I understand exactly what you're saying. That's I right. Right. the streets, bro. Yeah. I come from the streets. Fast. Literally, I've been blessed enough to spend a, a portion of my life in corporate America. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so that allowed me to, you know, adjust to certain circles. You know what I'm saying? But I got like some people. Said, yeah, <laughs> like you said. Like, like, street, you know? They out there blowing. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to live for Christ. Let me yeah. yeah, they're like, ah, oh, you tripping. Like, yeah, God's still good, though. He's like, nah, you gotta stop that, Jason. <laughs> you making that man stumble. You know what I'm saying? Then I would understand, like, that's what you're talking about. Man, I'm tripping out here. Yeah. So it, that, that conviction was more, it, mm-hmm. once I knew the conviction was harder, and it started hurting, like, oh, that hurt. I think I made that boy stumble. Like, oh. Yeah. Well, you start, you start, what you start, humbling yourself and oh, recognizing no. the role you play in other people's life. Then not just that, you held accountable for Yes, that. yes. You held accountable for that. Hurt. And it's it's like hurting. It was like, they would be reading from the scroll. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you remember this? <laughs> yeah. I you don't want to be like, oh. until you let him know that was all right. Like, yeah. You know what you show? Right, God, I quit. But when he gave me that, you ready now. I'm like, okay, I need some confirmation because that might not be you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that you? Chuck came back and was like, hey, man, let's work. Yeah. It was you. Yeah, and then I, I'm amped up. The crunk is like, oh man, everybody got my album. I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? So like, listen, so put a whole bunch of time and money and resources like, on your album. I get it. And boys is like, yeah, you jamming, but now I don't know. I'm gonna put that in my dick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm gonna jam that on Sunday evenings. You know, I'm like, ah, bro, come on. So I, I get it. I totally get it. It was like, man, I don't even care no more, man. Did you get the message in the, the second song? Right. You know what I mean? So I, I love what you were saying, bro, and it's so sincere. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So, so what's next? What's next for Crunk? Obviously, you know, underrated design, you know what I'm saying? And so you kind of pro, you doing, you know, pushing that. Uh, probably got some shows lined up. Right. But you thinking about any other mediums? Right now it's music, any TV, any radio, mm-hmm. any movies, something like that? Uh, no, me and my uh, me and my, uh, my wife, we have a uh, business. Uh, we have, we, we in a uh, building process now, but we okay. got some, uh, I don't want to speak, she, she don't like me speaking on Oh, yeah, yeah. We got yeah. these out there, hey. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that up. We'll talk yeah, to you later. Man, but I'm, I'm business right up here, so we'll yeah. talk. You know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? That's that's what I do for a living. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah. So, so that's what's up. You know, other than that, man, just you know, me and my boss boss, we gonna we uh, brought bring the tour down here in the U.S. It's called that Hope Arise Tour. That's what's okay. what we do, man. We just go and we um we just give hope, bro. We we do our song, we minister, and we just talk to the kids. Make sure, cause yeah, people, that was the name of the tour. The, the yeah, that Hope Arise. Okay, you'd be surprised how many people have. Suicide come 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 from know, suicide, man. No, you know no. what I mean? And like people uh, even think of. Like, yeah. Like, thought about that really. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Really. Yeah, man. So we just want to give them hope and let them know their purpose, man, that they have a purpose, that they're important and, and God got you here for a reason, man. It's hard out here, man. If Ooh. somebody said life wasn't hard, man, they'd be lying. They lying, man. 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 So, face. You know what I'm saying? How can people reach you? Give us some information. They want to book for you right here on tour right now. He's still accepting shows. Uh how can they get in contact with you? Man, on, on social media, to be honest. Social media, uh, okay. Or you can go to punting.net. Punting.net. Social media is all at punting. Yeah, punting. Yeah. That's what's up. P U N T I N. Y'all hit the boy up. Booking available. Rated, yeah. rated available right now. Google yeah. Play, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Pandora. Yeah. Go get that. Andrew, so Andrew told me to ask you. He said, man, why you got on the Rockets hat when you a Spurs fan? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Say, to be honest, hey, I'm a Spurs. I'm a Spurs, uh, real bro. But since I've been in eighth time, man, I ain't going to lie. For about two years, I've been riding with Harden, man. Hey, you hey, got you two guys. Got MVP. Hey, got hey, hey, I got two. That boy was the game yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you were up. Yeah, 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 man. MVP, uh, bro. Yeah. Hey, eighth time, man. Real talk, bro. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? Hey, but now, shout out to the Spurs. Shout out to the Mavericks. Texas team. No, no, sir, bro. No, okay, do that. Man. Hey, I mean, I'm saying shout out to them because they text me. Yeah, you ready to stay. Hey, Drew, I'm riding with the Rockets, man. Hey, y'all heard that. Hey, man, we up here chopping it up, man, with the homie putting them. Poor Eddie Prophet got JT the Golden Child in here. Man, y'all listening to the Lyrical Spiritual Show live on Bless Beat. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? We back, man. Y'all listening to the Lyrical Spiritual Show live on blessedbeats.com, man. I'm your host, Poetic Prophet. Got my brother JT the Golden Child yes, in here. Man, got the homie putting in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were just jamming that underrated, man. Available right now at your favorite digital retailer. Go grab that, man. Follow this boy on all social platforms at P U N T I N or hit pun.com for booking and all of that stuff. Bible study today, man, was uh, uh, get that work. You know what I'm saying? We looked at Genesis chapter 40, verses 6 through 8. We talked about. Joseph really just being in jail and still being focused on doing his job. Understanding that by doing that job, it's going to get him to the next level in his life. Man, it's been a good show today, man. We've been chopping it up. Appreciate the homie Punt for tuning in and keeping it all the way a thousand with us, man. I really do appreciate it, man. Shout out to everybody who, who tuned in live, watching us on Facebook, man. Shout out to Ben Punt. We got a Spanish coming in. Shout out to Bliss 100. I see you just tuned in. Shout out to Quentin. He said, man, you need more music on the album, bro. Uh, <laughs> on a wake, you like to smoke some bacon. Yeah, that was a throw bar. <laughs> I remember that bar. Man, appreciate that, man. Uh, shout out to my wifey. She said, Good interview. Look, people oh, tuned in, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Andrew. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Everybody who rock with us, man. Mia Young, TJ Mason, Lisa McQuarrie, DJ DMD. Man, everybody, David G, J, Mama Cheryl, everybody who tuned in rock with us today. Trevor Lee, what's good? Couldn't get you in the mix today, bro, but I'm going to reach out to you because I need to get you up to the station in a couple weeks. I know you're working on some stuff. Terry Donald, man, and everybody who rocking with us, appreciate y'all. Man, we're about to close out. Any, any encouraging words, any last words before we go from Any encouraging words, man. Yeah, leave my people with a message. Hey, don't let fear block you, man. Don't let fear block you through your blessings, man. Just know that God's not gonna come down here and uh, push you to your destiny, man. He's already giving you provision. He's every He's already giving you the tools, the gifts. You just gotta go get it, man. You gotta mm. leave. Gotta get that work. Go get that work. <laughs> already. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all catch us next week, next Monday, 8 p.m. Give us good to show. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Hold up. I'm underrated. They've been sleeping for so long, but it's about time I don't ring me alone. 